We've received a lot of questions about the Vive Ultimate trackers and I'm gonna answer the top eight. Is that eight? Yeah. <laughs> Question number one is, do the Vive Ultimate trackers work with the Quest headsets? We just announced third-party PC VR support for the Vive Ultimate trackers. We are still in beta testing, meaning there are still some bumps in the road, but rest assured our team is working to continue to improve the beta. To gain access to our third-party PC VR beta, make sure to check out our blog article for more information. And I will be leaving that link down below. Question number two is, do base stations work with the Vive Ultimate trackers? We recommend using the Vive Tracker 3.0 as that is designed for lighthouse environments. The Vive Ultimate trackers are optimized for standalone headsets, while the 3.0 trackers are optimized for lighthouse-based headsets. The 3.0s are gonna be a better solution for you if you're using lighthouse tracking. Question number three is, do the Vive Ultimate trackers work for virtual production with engines like Unreal Engine 5 and Unity? When connecting the trackers to Steam VR, you can use Unreal Engine and Unity to pull the tracking data from there. And if you're interested in tracking avatars in Unity specifically, make sure to check out this video, and I'll also leave a link to that video in the description. And if you're interested in learning how to use the trackers to track objects within engines like Unreal Engine 5 and Unity, make sure to leave a comment below. Question number four is, what's the battery life? The Vive Ultimate trackers have a battery life of seven hours and can be charged over USB-C. And if you do need to swap your trackers out because you've been playing for seven hours, <laughs> shout out to all my VR bingers out there. We have a super easy swapping mechanism to swap the trackers in and out. Question number five is, is there any way to go beyond five trackers if you have more than one dongle? Currently, the Vive Ultimate trackers support five trackers to one dongle. You can only have one dongle at this moment in time. Question number six is, do the trackers work while being covered by blankets? The cameras on the tracker do need to see the environment around them, meaning if they're covered, it is going to affect the tracking performance. The tracker cameras need to communicate with the headset as well as its environment in order to get a good understanding of where it's located in 3D space. While playing a game like VR Chat, you can get a blanket and throw it over your trackers if you're wanting to get into that cozy sitting position. The trackers will most likely respond by freezing in place until the cameras can see the environment again. Question number seven, will these trackers support OpenVR? Yes, they do support OpenVR and they also support OpenXR as well. And I'll leave a link below so you can learn more about it. Question number eight is, how far can you be from the dongle when connected to PC VR? You can be a total of 10 meters away from the dongle. Keep in mind that the tracker data sharing is dependent on the 2.4 gigahertz environment, which will be unique to your network connection and setup. If you're using third-party PC VR and your computer is a bit far away from your play space, the dongle comes with a wired extension cradle. This will allow for a more direct line of sight in that particular use case. A video you should check out next is the four mind-blowing use cases for the Vive Ultimate trackers.